Today, we will see some examples based on how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side included between them are known. Construct an obtuse angle triangle RQP where the length of RQ is 4.7 cm, angle R measures 30 degrees and angle Q measures 105 degrees. Here, we have to construct a triangle RQP. In triangle RQP, we have side RQ is equal to 4.7 cm, angle R measures 30 degrees and angle Q measures 105 degrees. As per the question, the side RQ lies between angle R and angle Q. Therefore, we can construct triangle RQP. Now let's construct triangle RQP. Step 1. First, we draw a rough diagram of triangle RQP with the given measurements. This helps us determine the procedure of construction. Step 2. Next, with the help of a ruler, draw a line segment RQ with length 4.7 cm. This line segment is the side RQ of the triangle. Step 3. With the help of a protractor, we will construct an angle of 30 degrees at vertex R, which means we will draw a ray at vertex R, making an angle of 30 degrees with RQ. We will label the ray RS. By the given condition, the vertex P of the triangle must be somewhere on the ray RS. Step 4. Now, with the help of a protractor, we will construct an angle of 105 degrees at vertex Q. For this, we will draw a ray at vertex Q, making an angle of 105 degrees with QR. We will label the ray QT. By the given condition, P must be on the ray QT also. Step 5. As per the question, P has to lie on both the rays RS and QT. So, the vertex P is the point of intersection of the two rays RS and QT. We can extend the rays and obtain the point of intersection, which is the vertex P of triangle RQP. In this way, we obtained an obtuse angle triangle, triangle RQP, where the length of RQ is 4.7 cm, angle R measures 30 degrees and angle Q measures 105 degrees. Next example. In triangle ZYX, we have ZY is equal to 7.1 cm, angle X is equal to 40 degrees and angle Y is equal to 75 degrees. Construct triangle ZYX. In triangle ZYX, we have side ZY of length 7.1 cm, angle X measures 40 degrees and angle Y measures 75 degrees. In the given question, XY is the side included between the angles angle X and angle Y of triangle ZYX and we are not given the length of the side XY. To construct an angle, it is important to know the length of the side included between the angles. Does that mean we can't construct triangle ZYX? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. Here, we know the length of the side ZY. If we can find out the measurement of angle Z, we can construct a triangle ZYX. We know that the total measurement of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. In triangle ZYX, angle Z plus angle Y plus angle X is equal to 180 degrees. Angle Z plus 75 degree plus 40 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Angle Z plus 115 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, which means angle Z is equal to 180 minus 115 degrees. Hence, angle Z measures 65 degrees. Now we know the measurement of angle Z and angle Y and the length of the side ZY included between the angles. Therefore, we can construct triangle Z by X. Step 1. First, we draw a line segment ZY of length 7.1 cm. Step 2. With the help of a protractor, 
we will construct an angle of 65 degrees at the vertex Z. Which means, we will draw a ray at vertex Z making an angle of 65 degrees at ZY. We will label the ray ZU. By the given condition, X must be somewhere on the ray ZU. Step 3. With the help of a protractor, we will construct an angle of 75 degrees at vertex Y. We will draw a ray YV making an angle of 75 degrees with YZ. By the given condition, X must be on the ray YV also. Step 4. To know the exact location of vertex X, with the help of a ruler, we will extend the ray ZU in such a way that the ray ZU intersects with ray YV at a point. This point of intersection is the vertex X of triangle ZYX. We have obtained triangle ZYX where ZY is of length 7.1 cm, angle Z measures 65 degrees and angle Y measures 75 degrees. Today, we saw examples based on how to construct a triangle when the measurement of two angles and the length of the side included between them are known. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples related to it.